Hello, YouTube. Welcome to All My Electronic Games. As of February 2017, let's just turn my speech on. Okay. Um. So I hear if I get a little battery or whatever. Then quiet down, please. Okay. So, um, the first section uh, in 1970. We know this will go in the Simons, then the other games, and then the Boppets. So, in 1978. Milton Bradley made a memory game called Simon. I have the 1978 original Simon, but it's broken. And so I got a redesign, 1984. It plays exactly the same, it just sounds a little different. And instead of having to use a coin to open the battery door, now it's just clip on. And I'm hopefully getting a 1978 soon. So you have a switch to turn on and off. You have three game modes. I'm going to go into those. And four skill levels. Level one goes up to eight. Level two, you have to memorize 16. Level three, you have to memorize 24. And level four, you have to memorize 32. Ooh. Okay, so let's turn on and play level one. This sounds a little... In my opinion, this sounds a little better than the, um... Than the other original Simon. The, um... Because this one's like... Da, 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 for the... For this one? It's like... That one would be like... Da, 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 da. It's like more skippy. But I'm still hoping to get one. Shut up, phone. That's the noise it makes when you beat it in. Um, so there is a 1978 one, and I have it, but it's broken, and so I have it downstairs. Next, in 1979, they made a Super Simon, which mine doesn't work that well. Eight buttons. But mine doesn't work very well. Yeah, I tried putting the batteries in it, but I'm going to have to try to figure out what's wrong with my Super Simon, because it's kind of broken. But, to be fair, I did get it sealed brand new, along with my 1984 Simon. So, then, in 1980, they made a Pock Simon. In 1988, they remade it. And I'm not going to show you the 1980 Pock Simon, because I don't have it yet. But I'm hopefully going to have one soon. So, they made a clear version of a pocket Simon. It's a round one, so you have um, last, longest, game, one, level, one. The levels are exactly the same as stuff. This one sounds different, actually, than every other Simon. Ah, oh, let's see, that's the buzzer sound. And that's the noise it makes when you beat it. So, they made that. And then, in 1995, they made another pocket Simon, which is an oval, and it's very rare. And the last and longest are like two rectangles now, two rectangular buttons. It's like game, and level. It's kind of on the, mine's kind of on the batteries. Yeah, mine's definitely on the batteries, so it's basically the same thing. And they also made another pocket time in 2002, but I don't have that, so I'm just going to ignore that. And then in 2004, they made a very musical Simon. The Simon Sticks. Boom. Ah. Like this. I don't hate, I hate how it always turns on. 
Let's see the video. So Simon Sticks is like, it looks like two drumsticks. Takes, each stick takes three triple A's and has two. Each one has four buttons on the right stick, on the left stick actually. Well, you have four actions. You have left stick, right stick, both sticks, and magnets. So, yeah. And then, so on the left stick you have power, on off. This is uh, um, one of the two only stereo electronic games in history. I don't have the other one. Then you have uh, the game. Simon, beat Simon, free Simon. Yeah, give me free Simon. Okay. And then you have the Level one. levels. You have four levels. And then on the right stick you have beats. You can have different beats. Simon. And that's just normal. And you have volume. Let's play it on regular. It's both. Ugh, the battery's just... My Simon Sticks is glitchy. It glitches out. Okay, it's still lighting up, but... I have to leave it sometimes. Okay. You can see a basic idea of that one. My Simon Sticks is a little bit broke, but whatever. Maybe it just needs some new batteries. I don't know. I'll try replacing them after the video. Then, in 2005... They decided, let's make a tricky Simon. And they introduced Big Simon Trickster. Okay. It has a switch on the back, it has four buttons. And it uh, has a switch that, if you're in Try Me. Simon Trickster. You press any of the buttons and then it does that. And then you flip to. Regu then you press the power button and it turns it on. Come on. Simon Trickster. It has four games. It has Simon Clash. Which is like regular Simon. Simon Bounce. Which is like where the colors bounce around and. Simon, yeah. surprise! That's just where like all the colors are configured by sound, and that's why you have to do the sequence backwards. Let's try Simon Classic. Simon Classic, go! Oh God, haven't played this in forever. Oh, trapped! Haven't Later. played this in forever. I'm gonna play every game on it. Go! Yes! Ah! <laughs> Later. Go! Oh, I skipped a summon by accident. I'll show it after this. Awesome. I don't know the max score in this thing. Me. So I'm just going to play that Classic. one. Now, um, I'll just play Simon Rewind. Simon Rewind. Simon Rewind. Go. Respect. Ah, got me. Later. So, that was the big Simon Trickster. Now I'll show you the Simon Memories. Simon Trickster. Simon 2. Made in 2000. Made by 2000. Made by 2000? <laughs> made, in two, made in 2000.
I'm opening 2005. Well, technically 2000. Um, I want to say 2005, but I'll just say. And this video is already at 10 minutes. So, the Simon 2 is a double side. Simon 3 has one player side that only has four buttons. It has game level start. And that start also turns it on. Then on the back, it has eight buttons. And then it has a game, a level, and a start. This is play one player. It seems like everything's on the batteries. There's a way to pop the buttons off the Simon 2. Ah! I'm not going to bother doing that in the video now, though. So. <laughs> I like the fail sound in this. Ah! And let me just show you all the games it has. It has Simon. Which is like normal. Simon just plays like normal. Simon. It's like a hard version, I guess. Simon. It's like a alternate version. And then it has Simon. It's out on the those three. Simon. This is group Simon. Okay. And then, yeah. It looks kind of like a big 1995 pocket Simon. And has the, it takes three double A's. Oh my god, everything else is turned off. I'm only in 2006 and of the Simons, and the video is already at 13 minutes. So it has two sides and it has Braille on the buttons. It has an A, a B, an A for uh, the highest note, a C for the lowest note, and has A, B, C, D on both sides in Braille. And it has two different chips, they look the opposites. And yeah, once Nabu player one I believe and then yeah and then you turn it on what dead batteries are you kidding me well I guess I'll go to another clip because I really want to change these batteries to show you hey guys so just got some double from downstairs to put in the Star Wars Simon Let's find it. Well, there are two Star Wars Simons. There's a Darth Vader Simon and a Star Wars Simon. This is the Star Wars Simon. Let's put the batteries in. Hope it works. Now I'm gonna need a new Star Wars Simon. Put on the battery door. Ugh. Serious. Switch on the play one side. Yes! It just took it a minute. It plays the Star Wars song. Then press the button to. Simon. Select game. Star a goes Star to just Wars. regular Star Wars Simon. Select level. Actually, I'm just going to show you all the games. That's regular Simon. That's harder Simon. Oh, that's like where you just add one to the sequence. Simon. And that's great. Star Wars. Simon. There's four levels. Level one, level A is one, two, B is three, C is four, D 
do is four. So the force is like if you click yes, then it will do it without lights. If you click no, then it will do it with lights. So just press yes. Yes, practice. Yes, no. Gives you the option. I'm just gonna do no. A C C A C C. And you guys might be thinking, it might, it's not braille on the button, it's just dots, but literally it is, because, yeah. I know this is braille. That's what it does when you beat it. And then I just turned it off. Okay, ready the Simon sections at 16 minutes and I'm only in 2006? Wow! Okay, also in 2006, they made these small Simon tricks. Ah! Come on! Where is it? Found it. Um, this takes three triple A's. Oh, this doesn't have batteries. Forgot I took them out. Crap! Hey guys, sorry, I had to put some batteries in the small Simon trickster, so. This one uses a different voice than the big one. And you put it in store mode. You press one of the buttons. Then flip it to regular. Press the power. Simon Classic. Then does that. Simon Revenge. Simon Revenge. Simon Rewind. Simon Red. So all the games are pretty much the same. Except for Simon Red, which is um like where I think all the colors light up red, so let me give you demo fall game. You know the power button to turn it off. You can't do that on the smaller, on the bigger one. Because of Simon Classic. Simon Classic. Go. Here's the first power button to as well. Whoa, I'm not used to these high notes. It was on low batteries when I still had it. I'm not using those high notes. But, ow, that one's actually too high for me, that note. I get confused, because the buttons are like backwards from the, the flip from the big one. What? Ah, uh, shut up, iPad. Wait, what time is it? Echo, what time is it? The time is 4.27. Oh, good, I thought, I thought it said 4.37. I can do the buffer to do two scream. Okay. Ah. The heck. What the heck? What? Awesome. I haven't heard do that in forever. No batteries didn't do that. Oh, it got me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh. oh, shut up. I don't care. Um, in 2010, they made a Simon Carabiner. Now, this is not the 2014 Carabiner, obviously, because it was made in 2010. It's very small. You used to be able to get it from Bat 19 before 2016. You just press the center button to start, only has one game. Takes three button cells. It's just a little Carabiner. Me off. It's like my memory sucks. This goes up to 32. Has no level adjuster. Okay, so that was basically the Simon Carabiner. 
And so many people are telling me I'm mid, uh, Buff, uh, Electronic Game Girl 15 and uh, Buffett Gamer 555 are both telling me that I'm missing the Simon experience. Shut up, iPad. I don't freaking care. Um, sorry. Um, uh, telling me I'm missing the Simon Extreme, even though it's not a real thing. So Google it about a thousand million billion times. No, there's no ad for it, and they can't even show me them playing. Oh, they are here when they do it. So this next game is the Simon Flash, made in 2012. It's four cubes in a carrying case. Uh, let me see if I can take this off this case. I'm selling the Simon Flash on eBay. Uh. Come on, come on! It takes eight triple A's and, and it has four cubes and each cube takes four triple A's. No, JK! Um, each cube takes two and it takes a total of eight. Come on! Oh, wait, I went to the wrong game. Yeah, I don't like the Simon Flash. So anyways, up in 2013, they decided to get a little more advanced and introduce the Touch Simon. Yay! <laughs> so the Touch Simon was made in 2013. Oh, the battery door on mine's loose. Let me tighten it. Go. Now it's on really tight, so tight that no one can get it off. JK, I can, but not very many people can. It has a, it has a set of buttons that has touch screens. Um, when I first got it, I used to hit them like this. And I ended up breaking my touch, Simon, so I had to get a second one. And then I now I just tap them like... And it has a little LCD display so you can see your scores when you turn it on. Uh... This is, I know the test mode for this. I know the test mode for most of these games. And it just does that, then you just press the button to continue. The button also goes through games. I have no idea what the max score is and what? I've tried both of them. This thing is being weird, but who cares? It's kind of a redesign of the Simon Original, like a much more modern Simon Original. They should have called this Simon Air 1 because you don't even have to touch the buttons. You can just put your hands over them. Like, look, I'm not even touching them. I can prove it. Ah, the wrong one. I can prove it, though. Watch. Ah, oh, I did the wrong one. See, I'm not even touching them. Now I'll touch them again. Then you just hold the button to turn it off. And that was kind of the reason I signed the original, like I said before. Oh my god, I'm going to Um. Simon they decided since we remade Simon original with four buttons, let's remake Super Simon! Yay! And it's Simon's like. And it has eight buttons. Even though it's only four, it's just touch screen, so you turn it on. You have four games, you have levels Extreme, Pass It, and Classic. Let's play levels first. This adds swipes, U turns, all that good stuff. That one, dang it, that gets me every time. Yes, it echoes. Oh, that one, try it. Yeah, 16 levels, I've beaten it a couple times, but yeah. It's been forever since I've played it, so 
I only I've only started playing it recently again, and I've put it in test mode. Ah, oh, dang it! I was distracted. Extreme is like a harder version. Let's play it. Is like a multiplayer game. I like the echoes. My score is kept in the passive game, which I like. Classic is just taps. Volume controls. Dang, the Simon section is like longer, already longer than my other Simon section. And it's, but it is louder, but it's so much bigger and more clunky. But the lights, I must say, are brighter. Okay, so, that's, it's pretty much the same thing, goes up to 32. I've beaten it before as well. Also in 2014, uh, made a Simon clone. Called Memory Maze! Yeah! Memory Maze! And. Uh, it just plays one game. It gives you two chances. Uh, it kind of breaks easy. Now my buttons are a little faulty, even though I've only had it for about a month. It's kind of a worse version of Simon. But it does give you. Two lights. memory made before. It's not that hard. Ah, that gives you it again. One more life. Then the game restarts. Okay. Kind of silly. <laughs> okay. In 2015. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're turning on. Uh, come on. Where the crap is it? They made Simon Minecraft! Yeah! 
It's like a, it's a version of seven type without the swipes, just doubles. Here we go. Solo and pass it. Next level. And it doesn't echo. It doesn't have volume controls. And yeah. Try again. Okay, so that's time in micro. In this year, there were, well last year, there were three assignments. The one that came out first was the assignment A. Let me get it. Oh, it's not the Oh, crap. Oh, there was one of the assignments. Six. It's broken, no? No, it's not broken, but. Oh, my God. The assignment air is like a loop. There's air in the middle. It's like a loop with some air in the middle. So that's why they call it burning. Air. Ha. Ha. That's a bad pun. Oh, what the crap was that? Ugh, come on. Can't even get this untangled. What the heck? Okay. Um, I'm an air. It's like a loop. It has level. Uh, party and classic. I'm going to play it on. <laughs> on level. How is this Simon section longer than my other one? I do have two more Simons, but still, it's a lot longer. Play it on classic. I can't play it on party because it requires you to cover all four at once. original remake. Just, it went back to buttons. And if you drop it, it's very loud. This is a very loud sign and it vibrates a lot. It only has one game and that is green. So. And if you want the word Simon facing the right way, the Simon is actually kind of upside down. If you hold it so that the highest note is on the top left, then it's the word Simon is upside down. So yeah. Just press green um green or whatever. Um, whichever color it is, and then you have volume, silent, quiet, medium, blasting. If you have it on blasting, vibrates a lot. It has like these hand holds you can hold underneath it. You can get these at Target. I remember that they used to be really rare, and like uh, me and Parker and um, Alden were the only ones who have it. Okay. And then the last Simon, yes, is the. Uh, 
uh, is the Simon Darth Vader. It's like a remake of the Simon classic. And it's... It's on the game is green. And yeah. And the same volume setting. It's the exact same thing, except for shaped like Darth Vader. And, um... It's, like, it's at more stores. The Simon Classic is only at Target for some reason. At least in my area, and in most areas in the U.S. I remember, like, when I wanted the Simon Classic, I asked my mom if she could get it for me, and she's like, um, or if she could take me to store for good friend, she was like, you have a Simon Classic, and I'm like, no, I'll bring down the Simons I have. I literally had four. And now I literally had five Simons, and that's when the Simon Classic came out. And now I have so many more games that it's crazy. Okay. Now, um, I'll move on to another section of the video, of the video and we'll go into a second clip for that. Oh, guys, this is the part two. This clip too, and uh, this is gonna be the bop it section. And I have all my bop its and bop it clones around me. Well, it's the bop clones that are made by Hasbro. And the reason I say bop clones that were made by Hasbro would be like thinking, who else makes bop clones? And there are a few other companies. So like I have all my bop its and the groove it, top it, and all that stuff around me. So only the bop it style games and the regular bop games that were made by Hasbro. So in 1996, Hasbro made bop it. Duh. It has a bop it, a twist it, and pull it on the left. And the twist is on the right, and the bop it is on the middle. So you pull it. When you hear that, it's locked up past it, which is basically like so it gives you a sound effect and a voice command, and you repeat it. And then you pass it to the next player when it says pass it. Bop it. Pass it. Twist it. Pull it. This, this is the actual bop from 1996. Bop it. Twist it. Pass it. Bop it. Pull it. Pass it. Twist it. Pull it. When you hear that, it's sound effects and pass it. Pass it. Okay, so and then when you hear this is the solo game that goes up to 100. Bop it. Twist it. Twist it. Bop it. Twist it. Twist it. Bop it. Twist it. Twist it. Bop it. Twist it. Bop it. Twist it. Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. This goes up to 200. 100. 100. Then they made a Bop It Extreme. I found this one in a closet in the basement, and it had probably been there for years upon years. Because listen to the spin. The spin is when I, I can hear the loose pieces to the spin. And then, like, see, I know that we didn't just find this one at the thrift store because it has no tag. And I don't remember ever find, having a Bop It Extreme with, and it's, as having this pitch. Solo. It's Vox Bop Solo. Beat and so it has uh, four games. Does. Vox Bop. You know what that is. Beat Bop. You know what that is. Vox Bop Solo. Vox Bop Solo and Beat Bop Solo. Woo! Beat Bop Solo is kind of glitched out. So. <sighs> Let's play a little bit of Vox Bop. Beat Bop. Vox Bop. Solo. Oh, the battery. Bop it. Down. Do it the same, but uh, better. Okay, I was turning on the power mode on my phone. Spin it! Twist it! Pull it! This goes up to 250. Flick it! Twist it! Twist it! Flick it! Pop it! Pop it! Pull it! Pull it! Twist it! Spin it! Flick it! Pull it! Pop it! Spin it! Pop it! Flick it! Pull it! Flick it! Spin it! Twist it! Pop it! Down! Game over! Score! In 1999! 
1999, shut up. In 1999, it has a release date, Zing It, which is like a yo-yo bop it. And it has Lock Bop, Beef Bop, Lock Bop Challenge, and, and for, it has Zing It, where you just like throw it down. It has Loop It, where you throw it out and loop it around. It's kind of hard, and then you have Bop It. And then it's like a, uh, it's, it's much easier just to cheat and Especially since it comes up to 250. You can go up to 250. I just, I just failed on purpose because I don't want to play that for too long. See, that felt like fifty. That felt like a hundred to me because of how hard. Because of it's like such a hot game. And then ah, uh, there's also a bop and chain keychain that I have, but it's broken. Also in 1999, they made top it. Yes, yeah, flop it. What is just like hit the ball? Like that you yeah, flip it. You should flip it over and flop it on the other side, then you have to pop it. Top it! As you play it on top, it goes to the third. Um, in 2000, they redesigned the Bop and Original with a homely face. No. Just this one goes up to 200, and it also has a jump scare along with the Bop Extreme does. pop out of it and people are thinking that's not a bop it well it is because on the package if you get your heads up new and you can see on the package it actually says bop it heads up so i'm just gonna play it on solo it goes up to 199 my heads up's a little broken but i don't care because i don't play it that much and mine didn't come with a handle it, it should come with a handle. There's the first bop to ever say or score. Then two start popping out. I, 
right, here comes the tree. My nose glitches on it sometimes. It glitches the nose. Okay, that was the heads up. I tried to open this top drawer without my other Simon's falling. That was that. And then, um, ah, it feels like this game is special. Uh, Super Simon. In 2000 as well, they made a Boppa pen. They made a two. They made a Boppa pen in 2000 and a Boppa pen in 2002. In 2001, and luckily I have the 2000 Boppa original pen because it's a little better. The 2000 Boppa pen is bigger and quieter, but has three game modes. It goes up to 200. You'd probably th be thinking, what else would a Boppa have? Like, what? But the the 2001 one always has only has 15 and goes up to one game mode, and I just took off the pen part. See. Put it back on. So if you had to pick one, I'd say this Boppet Original 2000 pen. Let's just play it on um, solo. I'm still looking to get the other Boppet pen. My mom was going to get me the other one, but then she saw this one. That got better reviews. So she got this one for me. And then but I'm still after the other one, but I'm glad I got that one first. So yeah. Then in 2002 they um upgraded Bop Original for the third time in full size. And it was the Bop Original 2002. Oh gosh. Uh I've got all my boxes out. So, toys are the same except it's smaller and the commands feel like better and they're easier to do and it's a lot faster and it doesn't take as many batteries. It takes the same amount of batteries but not the same kind of batteries. Yep, I just keep feeling on purpose. So, that was that one. You already know how it goes. How, you already know what it does. And then in 2002 also, they made the Bop Extreme 2. Which is an upgrade to the Bop Extreme and was the first ever game to have volume! Yay! One on one is where one player holds one arm and one player holds the other. And then, and then you use the stick with the switch between beat Bop and Bop Bop. Go up to 250. I've only gotten to 90. That was my sister. Was, well, no, it was my cousin, Harrison. He's four. He was playing on it and got 90. I don't play it much. Changes the beat every 16. This is also the headphone jack. Okay. And then, in 2002 also, they made a very kind of fragile game. Ah! Gotta like walk across the box. It's called the New Jam Guitar. And mine's kind of broke a lot. Like this, it has a strum, slide up, slide down, and a twist. And... There's two beats. It's a very musical game. Never mind, the battery door won't come off, and also, it like, turns on based on the amount of electricity in the room. And it has a rock beat. Time to rock. And a dance beat. This is the dance beat. My drum is a little broken, and so 
I'm gonna need a new new jam guitar soon. It's lasted two years. I got it brand new in Easter of 2015. Okay, that was the new jam guitar. Um, eventually I know I'm gonna have to do a video called R.I.P. New Jam Guitar. Ah, ow! Okay. Shut up, iPad, I don't care! Okay. In 2004, they redesigned a Bop It 2002 and made a Bratz Bop It. Pink, and this has a female voice. And it sounds different and more annoying. Let's go up to 200. You already know what it does. Um, it, this next game was made in 2004, released in 2005. Ah, the groove it. It has 10 moves. It has a scratch, which is where you put your hand inside the loop. A zoom, where you just put your hand over the top, like forward to back. It's a slide, where you go left to right. Then it has a chop, where you do the front line into the loop, forward. Ah, let me see what that message is. Speech on, and then it has the uh, chop where you just do the front line and then into the loop. Then you do the zip, which is the right to left. Then you do the flow, which is the back light into the loop backwards. And then um, uh, car wash, which is the slide. And then the uh, zip. Um, next, I believe, is the um, rock and roll, which you do the zoom, then the scratch, then the kung fu, which is the chop, and then the zoom, then the swirl, which is just where you like squirrel your hand over the top, then the kung fu is the scratch, then the zoom. Just turn on. You ready to groove? And this is motion sensor. That light up. Let's see you do the slide. Scratch. Slide. Scratch. Zoom. Slide. Right. Yeah. You've got the groove. Now watch the lights for a new move. Echo, what time is it? Show me how you do the job. Okay. Two. Slide. Two. Scratch. Slide. Scratch. Try again. What a crap. It gives you three lives, but I'm not going to... So, and also in 2005, they made, they made the, they made the, blast. I have two buff blasts. Oh, actually three, one's dead. So, um, I have a high-pitched one. You can select the voices, and then I, the arms bent. Whoa, what was that? It went pop. It went pop. It did that. And then, um, I'll show you on my low pitch one. It, you have three voice options. You have a male, female, and both. I'm gonna, there's beat bop, left bop, and light bop, which you already know what it is. And then, you just bop it. Started. Oh, this is life up. I want to go to a fuck up. And then you'll pass it in one on one. And solo. This goes up to 500. Okay. In 
2006 they made a Bop It that's only in the UK, Bop It Download, which allowed you to download your own voice and stuff. And I have two Bop Downloads, and I got this one brand new. You can even watch my Bop Download unboxing video for proof. And then, I'm on level 14. You gotta watch the lights, because if it matches, you don't do it. If it matches, you do it. If it doesn't, you do it. Oh, it got me! My sister said you'd be home at 3, and it's like 5, 30, so what the heck. Okay, whatever. It, you get the idea. And, yeah, so we got ourselves down. Um, I'm gonna stop the video here, because I... Ah, let's just turn the speaker off on my iPad. So, whatever. Um. Okay. Actually, I'm not gonna stop the video. Let me make sure it's still recording. Okay, in 2008, Hasbro made Buffett Shout. This is a low pitch. This is a normal pitch. Uh, score. One. Yeah. Oh, you can and do it. And yeah. Oh, I forgot you game. You can do this. I forgot game. Yeah. I can't believe I forgot it. It's the torch. Buffett the start. Buffett the start. Okay. I am torch. I'm, I'm going like, to sleep. Bend me. I'm going to sleep. Stretch me. Twist me. Like that. Like that. And then the Buffett Shout. Anyways. Um, the Buffett Shout is... Uh, I have three different pitches of bop shouts. I have a low pitch, Solo. normal pitch, Solo. and high pitch. Solo. And it has a bop it, twist it, pull it, and shout it. Bop it to start. Bop it to start. Bop it to start. I'm going to I'm sleep. I'm going to sleep. Okay. So, let's put on my high pitch. Solo Classic Party, um, Quite Loud Blasting, and Novice Expert and Master. I don't know why I'm going faster than I was earlier. I extended video time. So. Next, in 2000, they made the Bop Trope Carabiner. Not 2000, 2009. It goes up to 25 only, and you can't just able to shout it. And it's one game mode, doesn't have volume. Oh, my, the pull it on mine is broken. I have to pull it out like that. Watch. The pull it on mine doesn't work. You have to like push down on it. You do it like this. Oh man, the pull it. There we go. Now it's working again. Ah, I'm kidding. Oh, I think my pull is officially broken. Whatever. Ow, I gotta like walk across my bucket. Oh, I forgot another game. Well, the Bop It Extreme 2 Keychain, the rarest Bop It ever. And I'm holding it right in my hand right now. The one goes to 25, has Bop It Extreme scoring, but who cares? Here we go. Play. In the way of the, the key figure to the of the, no the, no the, no, the other left man. Yeah. Okay, 
that was the Trim 2K Trim. Didn't want to miss the rare spot in history. That one's kind of a weird one. Um, in 2010, they made Bop It Bounce. It has a ball, you need to bounce it on the trampoline. It comes with it, like this. You can throw it up, bounce it like that, or you can just like, what? Hey, so, um, I just needed to grab this pack. I'm gonna use this. Okay. okay. Sorry, tube down with my dad, but who cares? You have to bounce it. And it says how many bucks I can do in 30 seconds. I just like to cheat because it's much easier. Would you like that? Nah. Okay, so that was. Shake it. Then there's a 2013 version that has no shake it. This was made in 2011. Twist it. Pop it. Shake it. Twist it. Pull it. Flick it. Spin it. Shake it. Flick it. Pull it. Twist it. Yeah, novice expert master pro. Let me show you. Type of line. Black one's exact same except for it's black plastic. It's like black clear plastic. So here's. it's low pitched. But this one is a little more responsive of a shake it in mind. And the spin is in a little better condition. I had this one since it first came out. And then it has now the for master and pro as well. I'm still using the hat. Okay. Okay. That's that one. And then in 2012, they made Profit. You Smash. It's like catch the light in the middle. Level one. I had one Bop Smash and I got 186. But this light on it broke. And if there are any games you really want me to get. Please leave them in the comments. Yeah, that kind of wasn't that bad. I'm going and I also have a Spanish version. Solo. Oh crap. No. Solo. Solo. Chip. Uno. Ah. Fallaste, mi hermano. Okay, that is Bop and Smash. In 2013, they made Bop Tetris. A silent, quiet, medium, loud, and blasting. It just plays like Tetris, you have to like slam them into the correct chips, and I can't really play it because of one. Oh, crap. Oh. oh, you have to drop that one. Okay. That's the one you have to drop. I can kind of see. Yeah. 
when I was reading my comments, and someone said, this guy is a fake, because I was explaining about how he's blind and stuff, and they said, how, if he's blind, how can he talk? I'm like, what the crap is wrong with you? Oh, I want to get that one in there. Oh! Oh, he's one of the crowd. Get the idea of that one. You're out! Your score is two. Don't let the dream I'm kind of bad at it because I can't see. Who cares? Okay, the video's ready over an hour. And in 2013, they made Bob X. He cared about Mind on low batteries. This shake and spin it sounds a schwa. Please listen so quiet because it's on the battery. You can hear it like crackling. It's going like. It's all pitch bending on me and um like that, see? I'm just about drop it pit pit pitch bend. And then it just, because it's on some of the batteries, it does that. Okay. Don't have that many boxes left. They made box beats next. Uh, and it has a spin stretch and all that stuff. I also have a Spanish version of this. I would have a Spanish pop Tetris, but um, it was broken. So. And there was only one left in the store. And my parent and um, it went turn on. We asked them if they had any in the back, and they did. So. Okay, that was about the beats. I, I'll play my Spanish one uh, briefly for you. Bop it. Bop it. series and this was probably the best keychain bop it ever because it said score and had all the volume controls and game modes i'm not sure how much longer than the simon section this is gonna be so solo Battery.
Okay, I'll plug in my phone up to the video. Um, at least after this clip, because. Yeah. Um, in 2015, it was Bop and Yes. And solo. It's basically the exact same thing, except for in the shape of an R2D2, which R2D2 sounds in the Pull it. Pop it. Pull it. Pop it. Pop it. Pop it. Pop it. Pop it. Pull it. Pull it. Twist it. Pop it. Pull it. Pull it. I have a lot of the digs, but I'm in the uh, group text called Blind Teens, and I get lots of messages in there. And I'm also getting texted like crazy from yeah, other people, and it's crazy. Bop it refresh. Bop it, which has 10 stick four, moves. Hammer drinking something, you come and create this thing, you'll be off and enter its thought. And Bop to the bullet. Twist it. Pull it. Hammer it. Bop it. Hammer it. Twist it. This is a regular color. Drink it. Pull it. Pull it. The black. Felt it. Then there's the solid clear. Hammer it. Hammer it. Hammer it. Pull it. Beaten both of them, but they go up to 200. Twist it. And on classic, can beat about 100, but hammer it. Um, Bop it. I reset them to put them in chess mode, and then my cousin is pulling Twist them. It. Drink it. Pull it. Twist it. And my sister is pulling Felt the it. regular one, and my cousin is hammer pulling it. this one, and my cousin Drink is four. It. Hammer it. He got 81, so. Twist it. Drink it. Drink it. Felt it. Pull it. Just like the Bop It RTD2 and Bop It Micro. Except for in the shape of BB8 and with different sounds. You get the idea. I don't want my phone to die, so. Um, bye, guys. I'll see you in the next. 
Hello guys, this is the last part. And um, this, this is all the other games. Sorry if this is gonna be, the first part's gonna be a little out of order. So, yeah, this is the other games category. Oh, I've got so many games on the floor. Cause I don't really know the year all these handhelds came out. So I have a bunch of handhelds, so. This is the first handheld I'm gonna show is a deal or no deal handheld. So you just press the button on top to turn on. Wanna press start? Or not? Sorry, the batteries in this thing are kind of low. They were also like that in my January video. No deal. Oh god. No deal. Ah. <sighs> Crap. Oh god, this video is getting off of me this time. What the crap is the answer? No deal. They said no freaking deal. Oh, it's pitch bending. Answer. I want to freaking answer the phone. This thing is pitch bending. I'll just press deal. And the next thing. Just press deal. Deal. Game's up. No, screw you. So. The next thing I'm going to show you is a targeting game. Alright, so that's a start. This takes two triple A's. You've got to try and hit the targets. Get three chances here. Dang it. Yes. No! Crap. Oh, I'm getting better at it. Oh gosh. No! One life. Gotta switch fingers, cause this hurts your hands. No! 27. Okay. Try the next game. Sorry that they can't tell they're out of order, but I don't care. Next up is this Yahtzee game. Note, some of these handhelds I have are kind of dead batteries. <sighs> Sorry if you can't even hear the Yahtzee. Ah. Turn it off. Okay. Man, I don't really know even how to play Yahtzee. TV. So. Ah. Let's have a good basketball.
small game that doesn't have batteries. Ow! Except is a salt hair. Come on, does this have no sound? It's on. No, it's not. Dead batteries? Why does everything have dead batteries? Guitar Hero Carabiner. So, I don't know how this one really works. Turn it on. Screen it up. I have to hit the neck of the guitar. That. I put fresh batteries in it and it was working. I literally put fresh batteries in it last night. It's a little carabiner. Well, if this thing ever will start up, um, let me describe the Guitar Hero Carabiner. So, it's like... Uh, there's a video game called Guitar Hero, I believe, or it's a handheld game, I'm not sure, and it's like a guitar bass and with a bending neck, and you just fold the neck out, and part of the guitar is actually a carabiner part, so, yeah, this thing doesn't want to work right now, and, uh, like, it's kind of a visual game, you have to, like, press on the correct buttons to make the, to hit the correct strings, so, it's kind of very visual. Shut up! Video player? Switch it? Is that what I just said? Oh my god, I've got so many games out there. Wheel of Fortune! Select players. One. Okay, let's try. Press that. And you're probably wondering how I know what's going on on the screen since I'm blind. I can just guess. And my vision, my light perception is good enough to where I can, like, see the screens. So... Like, I can just barely, if the screen is good enough, I can barely see what's on it, but yeah. Uh, freaking wobble deck. It's in my way. Of finding every single other game I have. Don't care. Don't care. The next game I have is the taboo. So here it is. Just press this, turn it on. And then you wait a second. This is the taboo button. This is the forward button. This is the back button. Here's the start button. Press that. You have to try and tag as many times as you can in 60 seconds. Dang it! Uh. Oh, crap, gotta go back. Oh! All right, that was the taboo. Man, I'm only on game like number five, and already the videos are ten minutes. Ha! This is driving me. And you know what, guys? This isn't gonna be good at all. 
I don't even care. Oh. Why is the ghost, why is the assignment? So, this is just gonna be in a random order now. Here's a big poker game. Let's turn it on. The sound. Yes! Okay. That was the poker handheld electronic game. I'm just gonna grab a game from the top. In 1999, MGA Entertainment made a game, style called the Click It. It was, it was called um, MGA made a game, and it was called the um, Click It. It's like it looks like kind of like a rectangular box thing, like a rectangular prism. Oh crap! It just flew across my room. Um, and I got my Click It brand new this Christmas. It has a hit it. We have to um, hit it, which is a little button, and a mix it, which is like a wheel, um, a click it, which is like a switch, and a, and a pull, which is a loop. And um, like when I first got, and when I first got it, I thought that hit it was this uh, yellow speaker part. So, um, so uh, yeah, let's just play it on. And even has a little keychain on it. You mix it to start, click it to go through games. It goes up to 100, which doesn't sound like a very big accomplishment, but based on how fast this thing goes, it is. Let me show you how fast it goes. Let me, let me try to beat it. Entertainment made a game called the Super Click It, which is a more advanced version of the Click It. And there's a black version. Well, it's kind of a dark blue. Uh, hold it up to the sunlight. Oh, did that just stop the video? That did good. Like if I hold it up to the light, it kind of looks blue, but whatever. Um, and they also made a green version. And it has a squish of it, blast it. Crack it, it, and twist it. Except it doesn't work in light. Crack it, just start squishing to go through this. The blast it doesn't work when there's light, so let me turn off my light. Twist it. 
That was the buff for our two D two screen. Last one was flying. Go get dad. Dad, did you walk the dog today? Yeah. Okay, because he's like growling at me. He's just being bad. Uh. He's acting funky, honey. Yeah, he's acting weird. Ben, do you need to do business? Okay. So, YouTube. Do you need to do business? Wobble Deck yeah. he needs to do was a Come balance on. board game go made by Diggin Active yeah. in 2010. It's a balance board game, so I'm, I was yelling because my family members were being loud. My mom and my dad. My god dog is like being crazy, so it has where you can just wobble around. Make music, you can just stand on it, or you can just kneel on it. You press the power button when it's on for volume. Low. High. Um, it has wobble mania. Which is where you have to wobble to the correct color. Blue. Oh. Daddy. Ah. Level one, excellent. 
it has bubble max. You ready? Which is where it's like a memory. Into the wall. Um. Whoa. This video is already at one hour thirty five minutes, and I've still got lots of games to go. Let's do this. Okay, guys. Um. I'm back in my room, and let's put the bubble deck away. It goes like. Ow! Ow! Grab a game from the top. The what will it be? What will it be? Let's just grab one. And then back here. So where's Brain Warp? So there's a cousin to this called Brain Warp that I'll show you later. And it's like you have to tilt to the correct color or number. And this one is a Star Wars version. Let's check like the best one. Let's do uh, names. So challenge there we go. Names. Name. How many um, one challenges? challenger. One challenger. Good. Start on Luke. You must keep pace with my commands. Start on R2D. Leia. Chewbacca. C3PO. Chewbacca. C3PO. Luke. game musical slash visual ow musical slash visual game made by Mattel in 2010 so the loops is is like uh how about I just show you instead of t telling you but the problem is I can't show you yet because I have to find the other stand so because it comes the loops uh comes with two stands that you that are optional to attach, but I want to show you what they look like. So I don't really use this thing, but I wanted to show you them, anyways, because the loops, if you get it brand new, will come with them. Here's the stamp for the loops. Here we go. It's a musical slash visual game. Select your game music studio. Or you can make your own music. Freestyle DJ. Or you can just jam. Musicology. Or you repeat a pattern to make a song. Reverses mode. We have to attack as many as you can. Mode. It's like what two people compete against each other to make a sequence. It's like a longer version of musicology. Repeat the beat. It's where you have to just like sign game. I'm gonna play repeat the beat. Repeat the beat. Level one. Ready? Go. Keep trying. It has different colors for each level, like gold and silver. Keep trying. Ah! You can do better than that. You scored silver level See, two. See, I got silver level two. Repeat the beat. Level one. Ready? Go. Don't give up. Ah, oh, I did the wrong one. You can do better than that. You scored silver level two. Select your game, music studio. Repeat the 
Give me the college. I love music college. Follow this. Keep trying. Keep trying. What? Nice. And see, it starts to make a song. Like out of the thing from you. Follow this. Keep trying. Sure. You can make different flows of freestyle DJ if you beat the entire thing. Follow this. Try again. Try again. You can do better. Ah, he got me. So that was the loop. Is a game, Brain Bash is a game where it says like one, touch two, they go like that. You do the purple and the yellow. Whatever. I'm supposed to turn it on and play game one. Let's play Brain Bash. One player, game one. The outer one and then the inner two. I think that. One, touch two. Four, touch three. One, touch one. Three, touch three. Ah! Three, touch three. One, touch three. Three, touch three. One, touch three. Two, touch four. Four, touch four. Two, touch one. Four, touch two. Three, touch four. Thank you. 
like it cheat uh, like the it, it, no, okay, it cheats on it cheats on me. Start on one. Shift to the correct color. Okay. Listen up. Get your brain in gear and let's play brain shift. Game one. Stick shift. One shifter. Okay. You Echo, shift what time on. is it? One shift. Green. 17 p.m. White. Jeez, it's late. Yellow. It's not late, but like. Red. Blue. Just like one later shift. than I expected. Red. I started recording, it was like 8 4. Right. Okay. Listen up. Get your brain in gear and let's play brain shift. Game one, stick shift. One, shifter. Okay. You shift what I call. One, shift. White. Yellow. One, shift. Green. Blue. Blue. One, shift. Blue. Green. Okay. Um. Oh, the ball's basketball. Next game is. Ah! Uh, what is it? Hot potato. And I know this is out of order, and I don't care. Hot potato. It's like toss it to one person, and then they toss it back. And then, yeah. And no one in the electronic game community has this. No one in the electronic game community has a wobble deck or memory maze again, either. Again. Squeeze it to start. Here we go. The way I play it is I toss it onto the ground and pick it up, then toss it onto the ground again. And if it's on the ground, when it does that noise, then I then I win. Oh, it was in midair. Let's try again. lost that time. So that's hot potato. It actually feels kind of like a potato. Shut up! The next game is Wobble Deck Experience. Now, when you get it, it, uh, like, uh, it comes with a detachable board, because the original Wobble Deck is, like, super clunky and hard to carry around but this one you can just like play standing up but this is really hard to play standing up or you could play it with just the base so i'm going to play it both ways and this one can actually work on carpet oh this is a british accent a british accent mate to the game memory wobble ready no Green. Choose again. Memory wobble. Choose wobbly step. Choose it. Memory wobble. Choose again. Copy wobble. Get on your deck. Level one. Ready? No, go back to my menu because I think it works better on hardwood. Green. Ah, try again. Wobble testing. Try that here. Level one. Ready? No. <laughs> Yellow. Let's just play a different game. Let's play wobbly statues. 
Which is where you Level just... one. No! Choose a game. Wobbly statue. It's where you just walk Get around. Get on your deck. And just like... Ready? Wobble. Freeze. Freeze. Wobble. Show you it with alpha board. You take the board off and then just play it. Copy wobble. Get on your deck. Level one. Sorry about the TV. Ready? Great. Red. You, uh, it's the Choose same thing except with your hands. So, let's bring the phone back into my room. Okay. Let's get me. Uh, uh, the next game I will get is the Hyperflight. I'll do the Hyperflight. So there's the Hyperflight. I've got to get the four discs for it. There's the yellow, there's the red, there's the blue and there's the green. I gotta go play this one in the hall as well because it doesn't really work on carpet which is what my room is which I'm hopefully getting a hardwood floor in my room soon so uh. hey my phone is at 30% before I started this clip and this clip is at like almost 40 minutes so that's that's a good battery for an iPhone, honestly. That's a really good. Mom, my phone was at 35 when I started recording this clip, and this clip's at 38 minutes, and I just got a 20% alert. My battery's good. A battery on my six ran low all the time because I overcharged it. Hyper slide. Jump on fast pass. The all time high score is 60 passes. I know there's not 16, it's saying 60. Oh, I 
I messed up that time. The hyperslide makes you actually very tired. Whoa. 41 minutes. Jeez. So let's see. One hour. So hold on. Let me see how long the video is right now. Whoa. The video so far is one hour and 54 minutes around there. I've got a lot of freaking games. Don't know why I want to show you guys all my games, but I do. So, next game is this basketball game that I'm going to have to try to spend five minutes trying to find the pieces for. JK, but I'm going to have to spend a while trying to find the pieces for. So, here's the base. Here's the launcher. Got to find the pieces for the net and the hoops. Here's part of the net. Okay, let's find the other half of the net. Uh, and then I just need the other basketball. I need the other basketball. Oh crap. That fell over. Um, now all I need is the other side of the net. Here we go, I found it. So, this is an electronic slash weird kind of game. So, let me just finish putting on the net. It's a basketball game. For those of you who like basketball, you're going to like this. It is like a basketball game, and you have a launcher, and you try to launch the ball into the hoop. In case those of you who don't know what basketball is, honestly, who doesn't know how to play basketball, but whatever. Um, and, but this time you have a you pull back on this thing and it makes the hoop go back and forth. This is pissing me off. Why won't this just hook in? Oh, let's take this off and then I can do it this way. There we go. Got it. Ah! Okay, so you pull back on this lever and it moves the hoop back and forth and you try to launch your basketballs into the hoop. And I'm just lost a basketball. Where did it go? Well you only need well you don't you need to well you don't need to, but oh found it. It swole away a little bit, so let's let's play Ah man, this is pissing me off. Let's make sure it's recording, because that's where if it's not recording. It took me about three minutes to find, so you pull back on this lever. The hoop starts to move back and forth. You end up, dang it, it's bounced off the backboard. Dang, that one went too low. Oh, it bounced down. Oh yeah, made that one. Another goal. Yes! Oh, I didn't even try that one. Oh, yes! Okay, let's try that again. Okay, it just fell, so, okay. 
Okay, so let's just take it apart, put everything away to it, and then I can move on to the next game. Let's just destroy this basketball game. Let's just take it apart completely, smash it to bits. closet door the other way so that it's easier. Or at least for the hot one. Let's pull out these pieces because this is cool. If I can, I don't think I can because it's like, ugh, this is making me so mad. And just to tell you guys, the games I have left are both my 20 questions, my taps, my loop down three, my 15 raises in one, my hyper dash, hyper cross, hyper blast, and the brain teaser, and Philly sausage, and my other 20 questions. Did the other two balls go inside my closet? Maybe they did. Let me check. Oh, one of the hyper dash targets did, and so did a little scrabble twist. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, that's scrabble twist. And but none of the other balls to the hyper blast did. This is going to bug me until I find them. Oh, here's another one. Here's the four. Now all I need is the one. Uh, come on. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, I missed another game. It went under my bookshelf. It is the bicycle racing game. It doesn't really work there. It's a touchscreen handheld. Yeah. So I actually have 97 games. So that works. They're not broken. So um, I can't find the one ball. For this thing. Sorry guys, but let me just check one more place. The way the hyper blast works is you step on the blast button on all the five balls, even though I only have four right now, come flying out, and you have to run around the room and put them back in when it tells you to. So that is the number one. Oh. Ah. Man, this is making me mad that I can't find it. I'm gonna sort through all the pieces I have up here. I'm just gonna stop the clicker here for a minute. Hello guys, my mom helped me find that hyper blast ball. It rolled like all the way across the room. Are you ready? Level one, ready? It Now I'm gonna play with the cheap way. Eh? 
Are you ready? Quick, Black! Great job! Let's play with the Your time! Are you ready to Quick, Black? Great job! Your time is three seconds! But I don't like to do cheating ways. Awesome. Level two, ready? Black! So, that was it for that game. Let's put it away. Hold on, guys. Here we go. Okay. The next game I'll find is the 20 questions, even though this one, this one's batteries are a little dead. Yeah, it's batteries are dead. Okay. My other 20 questions batteries are dead. So they're both basically the same thing. So. Okay. The next game is the shut up. Buck bounce is the Scrabble twist. Now, you twist the top and try to find the correct words. Go to solo. You start. It just gives you T W I S and T. Okay, now let's grab a twist. One player, two player, so, I only have a few more games left to show. And you guys are probably thinking, finally. Okay, in 2017, they made the first 2017 game, Memory Maze. So you take out the little pen and you go through by moving the little red walls. And uh, you gotta like get through. Ah, oh, crap. Gotta start over. Gotta lift it. You can't lift the pen, or else you have to start over. Ah! Uh, start over again. Just get to the end of the maze. I'll trap myself. I'm gonna come through up here and yes, solved it. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Next hit is the caps. I have to go out in the hall to get to play this one as well because of. Like it has because of the piece itself. Let's go in the hall and let's put down the little waffle thing. Let's put the tap right there. Now let's set up the base.
Okay, so it's all set up now. Turn on the taps. I've only got a few more games left. Tap the target with Taps. Thank God, I'm starting to get tired. Select your game. On the volley beat. Freestyle, D freestyle, DJ. freestyle DJ. Select level, level one. Level two. Freestyle DJ. <laughs> by Mattel. It's kind of a, a little bit of a visual game, but if you have like perception like I do, then you can uh, play it. You can play it, okay? So, because it doesn't involve colors, it just involves lights. So, well, unlike the boogie ball, the boogie ball involves colors. So, can't really play that. Like colorful. Can't really play that. That's the one. Extreme. It has six colors, uh, six targets, and the six is one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six. And the six is actually called bonus, the bonus. So, so let's let's play. Set up on my targets. Three. That's two. The way I can tell is by the numbers, and also because yeah, four. Also because I can like feel the different spaces on them. Six. Are you ready? Are you ready to tag level one? When you're ready, tag any color. Ready? Dash. One. One. Why oh, didn't you give me a chance? Five. Five. Oh, it didn't even give me a chance. It keeps glitching. Five. Five. Oh, I got my five and my two backwards. They feel almost the same. I don't know what that means. Let's try this one. What is happening here? the exact same one twice. Three. I didn't get it right the first time, but I got it right the second time. I'm just trying to do it with the buttons now. Great 
Oh, yeah, the time cool. is 23 seconds. Level one. When you're ready, pack any color. Ready? Dash. Two. all the way. My five glitches. Okay, that was it for higher production extreme. You just have to tag the correct colors. And it looks kind of sleeker than the original hyper dash, which I'll show you next. Video is probably past two hours, and I don't care. Um, so the next thing, like I said, I'm gonna show you is the Hyper Dash. So it's the original version of that Hyper Dash Extreme. Oh, and it's it has just, just five targets, and they're a lot easier to actually tag. So let's turn it on. Are you ready to dash? Choose a game. Hyper Dash, choose a level. Left two, your player. I have a low pitched one player. Hyper dash over here. And uh so this is a high pitch. Set up your targets. Spread them out. Level one. When you're ready, strike eight. He's my low pitch. Are you ready to dash? Choose a game. I choose a level. Left two, your players. One. Set up your targets. Spread them out. Level one. I use my high pitch more. Are you ready to dash? Choose a game. Hyper Dash, choose a level. Choose your players. One, set up your targets. Spread them out. Level one. When you're ready, strike any color. Red. Orange. Red. Orange. Red. Your time is 10 seconds. Level one. When you're ready, strike any color. Blue. He says, all right, and then I pitch, he sounds like my driver. Hello, John, you're inside the hyperdive. That was the hyper dash, and there we go. Um, <sighs> let's see how many more games I have. One, two, three, four, five. Now I actually do have five. So, next game. Oh, I'm getting tired of saying that. Oh, I'm getting tired of doing everything. It's Silly Sausage, which is a bop style game made by John Adams. <coughs> it's a sausage Triple with a face on it. Turbo. Place it the high score is 136. Poke me to stop stretch me. Dip me. Poke me. Switch me. Shake me. Stretch me. Shake me. Dip me. Shake me. Dip me. Poke me. What? Oh, yeah. 
check the acres. I think he's on a little bit of low batteries lately. Chipolata Turbo! The high score is one! I've been noticing some game performance changes. Poke me to start! Stretch me! Poke me! Stick me! Shake me! With me! Shake me! Stretch me! With me! Poke me! Shake me! Stick me! Stick me! on purpose so yeah. I don't feel like playing anymore. Your score is 35. Oh, just got 35 that time. I wasn't that much. Um, next. The loops have three. They should have called the taps in three because you just tap on these little things down here and there aren't any loops. But whatever. That was the loops and three. Okay. Next up, loop shifter. So, loop shifter, the bendable loops. I'm just putting it out and I'm gonna play some reflex master. Perfect. I'm too lazy to go in the hall. I'm just too lazy. I don't know if I can pick it up. Yep. Wow. That was very fast. You got Turn. 40. Fun. Hit. Awesome. Let's come out here. Level 2. Ah. Uh. 
24 hits. You rock. What? Level three. Oh, gosh. Ready? Yeah, oh, I think we're going to hit close one. energy this takes honestly woo and you know I'm gonna have to redo all this again like in a month and then do more on top of that uh my stomach this is just a random brain teaser puzzle you just mix it around I can't figure out how to solve it I've been trying and trying and trying and trying and trying and trying forever and ever can't get it Okay, so it's just like a little ball. Okay, the last game. Yay! The last game. Hype toss. In 2013 and 2016. Toss. Super toss. Memory. First hype super toss. Memory toss. They just have to toss First it up four. and catch it in the correct catch. cup. Three, is a memory two, toss. One. Red, red, go. Red, blue, go. Blue, red, go. Okay, so that's it. I didn't want to give you a super long demo. So that about wraps it up for all my electronic games February 2017. Bye, guys.